Good evening and welcome to my channel, Martin's Living on an Island. Today I'm going to discuss something or talk about something a little bit different. I know I've done some blogs on the cost of living in the Philippines and uh, some of the things you'll face in the Philippines, etc. But it occurred to me the other day that there's a lot of people that want to come to the UK and um, they'd probably be very interested to hear from a local, i.e. me, um, how much it really does cost to live in the UK. So I'm going to brush over a few subjects here um, in a sort of, uh, you know, an average sort of cost, because obviously there are so many variations uh, on, you know, how you want to live, uh, etc. Then it, it, it's no, you know, there's no point I can cover uh, every single scenario. So I'm just going to go to run through some different ideas, but I hope you find the video useful and interesting because um, obviously to compare the cost of living in my country compared to your country um, tends to sometimes open people's eyes to their own situation and um, maybe things are better or worse uh, where you live. So I'm going to start off shortly with um, uh, the housing cost etc. So let us begin. So to make things easier I've written everything down previously with costs and this is really going to be aimed at those of you that um, are coming from the States or if you're a Filipino, Filipino um, wanting to move here with your family for work etc. Because um, I'm going to do the prices in uh, pounds but also pesos and uh, American dollars. Um, obviously if, if you're from elsewhere you can just convert the pounds to whatever your currency is. So, I mean, the most important thing to start with really um, is housing, somewhere to live. This video, by the way, is not going to touch anything on visas and applications and rights to come and work here and etc. etc. That That in itself is a, a massive subject and it, it's a very difficult one also um, to actually uh, get here uh, unless you've got a lot of the qualifications and stuff the UK is looking for but I'm expecting by this time you know that. So anyway, somewhere to live. Cheapest way to live, really, if you're single, is either in a bedsit, which is basically like one room in a large several story house. Um, and usually you've got a kitchen, um, two uh, utilities and a bed all in one room, hence the name bedsit. Um, or a room in a shared house. Um, so you've got somebody that uh, is the main renter, shall we say, and then each room, uh, each person has a room of their own, and um, you share a kitchen, same, share the washing facilities. So that is the cheapest way, as far as I'm aware, again, these are all averages, uh, to actually rent somewhere. We're talking about renting, not buying. So for that, you're going to spend about... £80 a week for the rent, um, 5,000 pesos a week or 100 US dollars a week. Now in some cases this might include your bills, especially if it's a shared house. Um, it depends uh, because um, uh, obviously it depends on the colour of the house, the size of the house, um, the area it's in, there are so many variations. So um, the next step up, obviously, and I think it's probably the one that, that most people would go for initially, would be like a flat, maybe a two bedroom flat. Well, doing a bit, a little bit of research, uh, I, I found out uh, you know, two bedroom flats in my area, and this is another thing, the variation in rents depends on which part of the UK you live in. If you wanna live in London and the capital, you're gonna pay an awful lot more than all of these prices. I'm talking about living here in the southwest, uh, which is a relatively uh, rural area, um, although the city I live in is rather 
um, large, it's the biggest one in the, in the whole of the southwest, so 300,000 people approximately. Um, so for a two bed flat, you're going to pay uh, roughly five to six hundred pounds a month in rent and then you're going to pay or that which will be 30,000 pesos 30 to 36,000 pesos or six to seven hundred dollars a month of course the difference now is that you've got your own place you're renting so you have to pay all the utility bills gas water electric etc um, on top of that so that does make a big difference um, if you want to step up one and go to a house, then you know again we're talking more money. We're talking seven to nine hundred pounds a month for this is for a three bed terraced house. Um, if you don't know what a terraced house is, Google it, and you'll see that basically it's just looks like one big long building with lots of doors in, in effect, because all the houses are like sort of built right next to each other or literally joined. So a three bed. Three bedroom house would cost you seven to nine hundred pounds a month, forty two thousand to fifty four thousand pesos a month, uh, or eight hundred and twenty to twelve hundred dollars a month. Again, this is an av average price, and uh, those prices are, depends on where you live, what area the, the area is like, etc. And of course, you'd have your utility bills on top of that. So, really, then, situation is. Um, you're going to spend anything from, uh, you know, eighty to hundred pound a month to nine hundred a month just on rent alone. Okay, so we've covered the cost of actually renting somewhere. Now you need to consider the cost of the utilities. Um, the UK is a cold country, so if you're from the Philippines and one thing you have to get used to here is that the average temperatures are a lot lot lower um, particularly in the winter so you need to spend on heating um, for at least four to five months of the year maybe longer if if you're not used to the cold because even in the summer our average temperature is around 20 21 degrees uh, centigrade which is lower than your nighttime temperatures in the Philippines for instance so um, there are Two forms of power, main power, gas and electricity. Usually it's a combination in most houses because it can be gas cooking or gas, gas fires or gas central heating. Um, and they also, you can also have electricity. I've got a combination, so I've based it roughly on, on my cost and reducing them slightly because this house is a lot um, bigger than, um, than your normal houses, I suppose. So for gas per month, um, you'll probably pay around £30 a month for gas, 1800 pesos a month or 40 US dollars. For electricity, obviously for lights and, um, you know, that's the main thing for lighting, running your appliances, etc. Um, will cost you roughly about the same, about £30, 1800 pesos uh, or 40 US dollars. Um, telephone, that's an interesting one because um, with the telephone usually it comes with a package for the internet so and the TV it all comes combined it works out the cheapest way of doing it um, which I found out recently myself is that not having a phone but just trying to have broadband internet um, basically worked out more expensive than if I just had um, the whole lot in a package because there's some music or some very good discounts but taking away the discounts for a basic TV package with quite a fast internet connection, 200 uh, megabits of, uh, bits of present. Uh, but my God, my teeth not working. 200 megabits uh, connection on internet, which is fiber. Um, and then a, a, a TV package and a, a landline telephone. It will cost you around about 50 pounds a month for a package, which is about 3000 pesos or um, 70 US dollars a month so that's your your basic utilities water um, one thing we haven't mentioned in the UK is very expensive um, in this area particularly is shockingly expensive for three months because uh, it's a quarterly bill I uh, you know you'll pay and I'm on a meter so you know as a single person 
just doesn't matter what size house you're in, that's what the water you use, is £140 uh, for three months. So you need to lay £50 a month. So for three months, you're, you've got to account for like 8,600 pesos or $170 a month. Okay, you can drink the water straight from the tap. You use it for cooking, cleaning, and it's, it's generally very safe because it's very highly treated. Um, but we do get charged a lot for the water provision and they charge you double the amount of what you've used uh, for a sewerage charge to actually dispose of the water and treat it. Um, so that's where our costs are quite high. So overall, utility, utility bills in the UK are very, very high. Okay, so let's um, now talk about furnishing in effect, because you've, you've, you've rented somewhere. The prices I've quoted are, you know, usually for unfurnished premises. So you're gonna need uh, the basics, um, obviously, you can go and buy new, uh, and if you buy new, things like a fridge, freezer are around about 150 to 200 pounds each, which is nine to 12,000 pesos, comparable to what I've paid in, in the Philippines, uh, 180 to 240 dollars. One thing with electrical goods, I've discovered that in general around the world, they're the same price because they're usually manufactured um, in, in Japan uh, or one of the countries that uh, are the main provider of them. So they, they charge the same around the world. Uh, a sofa, um, basic cheap sofa, 400 pounds, 25,000 pesos or 500 US dollars. Um, tables and chairs, around about 200 pounds, so 12,000 pesos, 240 dollars. Um, a, a double bed, um, Two to three hundred pounds for a divan bed, twelve thousand to eighteen thousand pesos, or two hundred and forty to three hundred sixty dollars. Um, a TV. And what I've noticed actually, the generally the smallest size you can buy over here now is like a forty-three inch, um, you know, four D TV, and you're averaging about four hundred pounds um, for the TV, or twenty-five thousand pesos, or five hundred dollars. Now. Um, one of the good things about this is that there are ways, obviously, there are always ways of, of getting things cheaper. Um, and you could go and buy secondhand. There are a lot of, uh, you know, secondhand stores, places that sell used goods. And, and I would highly recommend that if you're coming over and just setting up, because a lot of the stuff is good quality still. People have got rid of it. Or you can buy it through the newspaper, uh, the local newspaper where people advertise. Um, you know, you can buy it through uh, local markets, even eBay. So going down the second hand or pre-owned route is probably a good way to furnish your apartment or um, small house to start with. But obviously, you know, you go to the main stores, you're going to pay a lot of money. And again, the prices I've quoted are approximate prices, average prices. You'll pay a lot more if you want some really good top quality with solid wood etc or you know maybe you can get a lot <clears throat> cheaper if you looked for even plastic like I bought in the Philippines recently so moving on to um, your travel cost just a little subject to talk about um, local bus services for like a two mile journey down this part of the world are about three pounds now they've gone up quite a lot in the last um, year um, in fact, they've gone up about 30% since I, uh, I went away last year and came back. I was quite shocked the night. Um, so 180 pesos, like a minimum sort of charge, uh, $4. Uh, a taxi will cost you about seven pounds for a two or three mile journey. Um, 450 pesos or nine US dollars. So obviously you've got to take that into account if you're traveling back and forward from your house every day, um, you know, to work uh, or in, into the city, etc., depending on where you are. So um, food is obviously another consideration. I've been quite surprised actually at the, the food in the Philippines um, in general seem cheaper if you're gonna be eating like uh, rice and, and, and meat in general. Vegetables 
seem to be very expensive. Again, if you buy squashes, etc., it's not too bad a price. Uh, and beans, if you buy the local veg, what people eat, it, it's fine. But um, in general, in the UK, vegetables and uh, food in the supermarkets is a lot cheaper, except for the meat. The meat and fish in the Philippines are much cheaper, so it's more expensive for this type of thing in the UK. But weekly, for a single person, you can get by on an average of about £40 a week, uh, which is 2,500 pesos or, or um, 50 US dollars a week. Uh, a couple obviously doesn't double it because it's just as easy to cook for two as for one. So we're talking about 65 pounds a week for a couple, uh, or 4,000 pesos, $80 a week. Again, you can spend a lot more of that if you start adding alcohol onto the bill and buying wine and beer, uh, which is expensive in the UK. Um, you know, your, your bill can uh, nearly double that. So you, you, if you're just frugal and eat sensibly, that's roughly what I think you can get away with. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, that, that's, that's sort of your, um, your cost of, of eating um, and utilities, etc. So overall then, your bills for the month for a flat, um, you know, maybe even a small house, um, but generally a, a flat um, two bedroom apartment is going to be around about £750 a, a, a month. Um, and if it's a house, three bed house, you're talking £1,200 a month. So I didn't actually work that out beforehand in pesos, etc. But seven seven fifty, um, and I'm going by a change rate of about 62 pesos per pound uh, you're talking about 46 to 47,000 pesos a month for a flat um, and then basically let's have a look times by 62 you know 75,000 a month for your expenses um, you know and that that is quite a shockingly high amount compared to my living expenses in the Philippines mainly because it's the rents and utilities um not the not electricity but the water and and the the rents are an awful lot lower um so us dollar wise we're talking you know 900 to sort of 1500 dollars a month um to survive so really i mean you know, to counteract that without sort of dying of shock i expect if you're in the states you're thinking hey that's not too bad because I know the prices are comparable. In the Philippines, obviously, that's a lot of money. But the difference being, compared to the Philippines, you can earn a lot more money in the UK. So, you know, basic jobs and one that um, comes to mind, which, uh, as an example, is setting yourself up as a, a self-employed cleaner. You can be charging £12 an hour, which is about 800 pesos an hour, I know the, the, the average wage in the um, Philippines can be as low as like 300 pesos a day um, or $15 an hour. So um, again, as a cleaner, you know, that, that's with your own business. There are a lot of people who take you on as a, a personal or private cleaner. You would still need to get transport to move around. This is the other issue though to take into consideration. Um, or if you want to be employed, there, you could get a job tomorrow as, as a carer um, you need obviously to be qualified so but the country is well well short of carers it's only a minimum wage job which is eight pounds ten us dollars an hour or about 500 pesos uh, an hour um, but you will get employment uh, quite easy with that so you can work out then you know how much you'll earn um, and then obviously for whatever reason you're coming over with you're coming over with your spouse, uh, you know, to, to actually live in the UK will depend on what your cost will be. But, but anyway, you know, it's a very basic overview I've just done there of really the cost of living in the UK. It just occurred to me, as I said at the start of the video, that, you know, not a lot of people seem to cover the cost of living in the UK. I, I read, I see a lot of blogs about living in uh, Thailand, Bank, uh, Thailand and, um, you know, Philippines, etc., Australia. So I thought I would just do the flip side of it and, and do one um, for the UK. 
because although my, um, the, my, my, my page is living on an island, uh, my, my, my YouTube channel I mean, um, I am living on an island because somebody pointed out why am I calling myself Martin's Living on an Island? Well, it doesn't matter if I'm in the Philippines or the UK, I'm still on an island, just that this one happens to be a little bit bigger than the one in the Philippines. So um, it all fits in and it's all part of my transition, my journey. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this interesting and useful. Please like, comment and subscribe because if there's other suggestions you'd like uh, and subjects you'd like covered, please let me know. I'm quite happy to go through them for you. So thank you once again and have a good evening, a good day, wherever you are. Thank you. Bye-bye. Just sitting here thinking about the video before I post it and there is one other important thing I forgot to mention and that there's a local tax called council tax and it pays for all the local amenities like street cleaning, trash, rubbish collection, etc. And some of the services in the city. And that can, it's quite expensive. That on average is around about a hundred pounds a month. Um, if you're renting somewhere solely, then I expect landlord will expect you to pay that. Um, and you pay it direct to the local government. So £100 a month or $120 a month or approximately 6,000 pesos. So add that to the final figure and you, know, you can still see then that it does take quite a bit of money to actually...